What's going on everybody? Gem Mint here. Ever since I got into Berserk about a year or so ago, I would see comments of people recommending other mangas, other animes for me to get into, and Claymore is one that I saw a few times. I've even seen people say it's as good as Berserk. So right away, I had to buy it, but I just never got around to reading it until now. So I'm going to read it. We'll do an overhead shot. We'll look at the art. I'll give you the synopsis of volume one, and then my, th my final thoughts after on if I think it's up there with Berserk or not. Uh, but before we do that, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Whatnot. Whatnot is an amazing app where you can buy and sell your collectibles. All of it is live auction format. I'm on there every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, setting off Whatnot Wednesday with one hour, one minute, one dollar starting price auctions for comic books. They also have sports cards and Pokemon and Magic the Gathering cards on there as well. But you know me, I'm there for the comics. Check me out on Whatnot. Download it and follow me if you haven't yet. The link's in the description and in the pinned comment. All right, guys, so here's the front of Volume 1, Claymore. Here we have the spine and the back here. The back gives you a little synopsis here, the Silver-Eyed Slayer. This is our main uh, protagonist throughout the story. Uh, and this is a world of humans, monsters, and then you have these monster hunters, these hybrid humans slash monsters that are the only ones that can really save the humans. So it starts off, boom, action-packed. A monster, the silver-eyed slayer. He goes to attack her, and boom, first page slices his head right off. It's the beginning of scene one here, uh, which is silver-eyed slayer. Scene two is claws in the city. Scene three is memory of a witch. And scene four is the black card. So I guess it's kind of like their version of chapters. They just do them in scenes. And uh, right away... I mean, I feel the Berserk vibe in this book, man. Uh, here we have this kid. So we end up going to this town, and the town will reach out to the Claymores as mercenaries if there's a monster in town. There's been X amount of deaths, and, and, and they hire her as a mercenary. So we get introduced to this kid. Uh, his parents ended up getting killed by monsters. Uh, he's an orphan, uh, him and his brother. And he is the only one that's not really afraid of the Clay, um, the Claymore. Now, what's interesting about the Claymores is they don't call themselves that. That's just a name that humans have given them. But it's kind of like uh, a little bit of a Demon Slayer vibe with that, right? So they're basically trained to uh, be able to go to these towns and cleanse them of their monsters. So she goes to attack the kid in the beginning. And that's funny. That plays a part a little bit later. Uh, turns out he has a scent of one of the monsters on him. And uh, that's why she almost attacked him. And that's how she ends up finding the monster here. So the monsters are called Yoma. And it ends up being that the boy's brother, he was the monster that killed his parents. He goes all out monstrous rage and uh, attacks the younger brother. And then that's where the Claiborne comes in to save him. Uh, come to find out her name is actually Claire. So kind of easy to remember. So like the fight scenes and like the movement in the art, it does give me like heavy uh, berserk vibes. It gives me demon slayer vibes, which I'm into both of those. Gruesome fights, cutting off these demons arms until the demon starts begging for his life. And then her kind of like in demon slayer, right? Kind of like uh, Mexico where she's got the demon, the monster inside of her and she can unleash it to fight against the true demons. So the kid... Now completely alone, he's kind of in shock. His parents are dead by the hands of his brother. His brother has been dead. The, uh, the monster kind of just inhabited his brother, learned his memories, and just fits in. And, and that's how they get around and survive in these villages. The little boy ends up catching up with her uh, to get her name finally. She didn't want to give it to him at first. And then boom, that's the end of the first scene. The next scene shows her going to get her payment. And this one made me kind of uh, gasp out loud. Uh, she ends up cutting the guy's head right off and I'm like, oh man, has she lost it? She told him she didn't want the payment, cut his head off, but ended up being that he was a monster in disguise as well in that same village. So the Claymore, man, they kind of can uh, catch that scent of the monster and she knew it, sliced his head right in half. Now, also like Berserk, they got some nude scenes here. She's got this guy that kind of seems to be giving her the jobs. He collects the money for her. It's okay to see her naked, so I guess he's some kind of trusted person. Gives her some new armor even. But that's kind of like some dude that's just following her for some reason. She takes a job that he just came there to give her on this town. They've had a high number of deaths, more than what one monster can do. So she ends up getting ambushed by these five monsters. And then we get another uh, heavy action scene here in scene two. 
They're super fast, coming up behind her, again, again, cutting off limbs. This was a dope scene, too, where she intentionally drops her sword in midair, picks up with the other hand to attack them. That's, that was dope. And one of them grows wings and flies away, which is uh, something that they're not traditionally able to do. She seems kind of surprised that the monster had wings. Now, this is dope, too. So she kind of channels some of her monster strength within lunges at the flying away monster and then in midair throws her sword at him and she also has a large sword not really like the dragon slayer but still kind of in her own right uh, to take down the demon in the sky man or the monster i should say the yoma so she's badass man this badass heroine named claire meeting up with her guy again to make sure he collects payment and then on to scene three scene three is the memory of a witch uh it seems like the child uh keeps thinking about her and he ends up uh, linking back up with her so she, she actually uh, brought him to this village carried him in and he wakes up in this town finally grabs something to eat and everyone's saying hey listen man this uh uh claymore is looking for you so he ends up finding a monster that actually disguised himself as a claymore in order to fool him and eat him there's some kind of weird scene here where they imply that the, the orphan child is claire's brother but then they kind of brush it off like no that's not what it is but you can roll with me yeah, you, you mentioned that you cooked back home. If you'll be my cook, then uh, you can come with me. So she kind of gives in, kind of like Guts. And the thing is, she doesn't really need to cook. We find out in this last chapter, the Claymores don't really need to eat that often, like one little bite every week or so. So this last chapter is basically uh, us learning that, us learning about the, the relationship with uh, her childhood friend. Uh, this is her at the end. Yeah, so this is like the 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 ending blow yeah so that's how we end over here the kid's extremely sad but he ends up you know figuring out why she had to do what she had to do she kind of tells him you know the reason that she's alive is to be a monster hunter to be a claymore all right guys so there we go do i think the silver-eyed slayer claire a claymore is this volume one is it up there with berserk i gotta tell you man i really dug it i think you can tell by my synopsis by the overhead that uh, the art reminded me of Berserk, how violent it was, the supernatural elements with the monsters, the humans, the half-breeds, the monster hunters, if you will. Like I said, a little bit of Demon Slayer, a little bit Berserk. Uh, there are multiple volumes of this. I know there's an unfinished anime, but I think I'm going to buy volume two and, and continue with Claymore. I'm digging it. I like that darker manga, that more violent, the more action-packed kind of you know style like berserk is like this is like blade of the immortal and helsing are so yeah man gem mint seal of approval all day i'm digging claymore i'm gonna pick up volume two and see what it's uh see where it goes i uh, appreciate you guys for watching stay minty fresh peace